Let's move on to retail. J.C. Penney just filing for bankruptcy. The retailer joining others like J. Crew and Neiman Marcus, who have had to restructure from the impact of the pandemic. With grim prospects for so many of these businesses, what could the new normal look like for retail? Scott Crow is the chief investment officer of Center Square. It's a retail investment firm. Scott, thanks for joining us tonight. You just how, heard how My hard pleasure. it would be economically for, for the airlines to figure out social distancing and safety precautions. How are the retailers going to do it? Well, it's going to be tough for uh, retail as well. And, you know, basically what we're looking at is um, right now a, you know, a, about a 20 percent rent collection for the average uh, retail mall landlord and uh, about 50 percent for a shopping center REIT and about 80 percent for service retail. Now, I point that out because that's a pretty good forward indicator of how those tenants see their business. Uh, so as it relates to sitting in an enclosed environment, it's going to be very challenging. It's going to be much more challenging for movie theaters, restaurants, gyms, uh, and other forms of retail will bounce back. But along with hospitality and leisure, you know, retail makes up about 25% of the underlying workforce in the U.S. And there are a lot of, the, a lot of those people who are out of a job right now, and a lot of those jobs won't be coming back. When you think about the, the jobs not coming back and the customers not coming back, how do you distinguish between the winners and losers in retailer? I just named some of the, the companies that have announced bankruptcy. Who comes out of this okay and who doesn't? Well, I think your service retail comes out okay. So think about where you get your hair cut, your nails done. Uh, think about where you pick up your coffee, right? those things come back because you can drive to them, you can pop in and out, it can be very, very quick, very convenient. You know, what, what doesn't come back is a movie theater. Um, you know, instead, Netflix just takes that over. You know, what, what doesn't come back is spending a couple hundred bucks to sit in a, uh, in a restaurant for an hour and a half with, uh, you know, a whole bunch of strangers. So I think those, there'll be permanent shifts in people's behavior, and we can, we can see this already. So take Texas, for instance. That state's opened up. There are restaurants, but bookings are down 80 percent year on year. In addition, I think that this virus could be the, you know, the tipping point for the mall industry. Uh, the underlying mall tenants like JCPenney and the department stores, they came into this crisis with somewhat irrelevant business models and you know, a lot of problems, a lot of leverage. And this virus has really been the tipping point for that to begin to unravel. And that's important because... In a mall, they have co-tenancy agreements. And that means if a certain anchor goes dark or you get a certain level of vacancy in the center, other people can get out of their leases. So I think this could be the tipping point where we could see up to 80, 90 percent of the malls in this country shutter and not open or open struggle and then close again. Wow. Scott Crow, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Even with those dire forecasts.